Education is about fixing points in space. We teach from canon. We teach by giving markers. And life isn't like that. Culture isn't like that. Art is not like that. Art, culture, and life are fluid. They don't like to be fixed down into finite realities. Art, life, and culture is like African music. It's not governed by beats or measures. It's not blocks. It's circular. It's round. It's unbelievably luxurious. And I think that teaching, and I've been a jazz educator for a long time, and teaching jazz the way we teach sometimes is really wrong. We teach it by showing this or that example and replicating it. And we don't really teach by reaching deep into the lives of these students and asking them to take on the mantle of African style education, which is to live the moment and to not mark it, to enter into that fluid process. So that instead of teaching somebody two five ones and how to play like, and having them transcribe Charlie Parker solos, we should get them to sit down and try and first make the best, loudest, most chaotic sound that they can on their horn. And then go from there. Because very often these young people, they're like, they're, they, they're terrified to even play, let alone further cajoled into fitting into a box. So, but what I found really successful is I get kids and I go, listen, we'll get to the chords, we'll get to the uh, scales, we'll get to the harmony. Now play your horn, push air through that horn and get it out fast, furious, loud. Play your soul. I don't want to hear notes. I want to hear your life. And what I found deeply touching is that more often than not, this craziness works. And a young person who, uh, who gets past the fear of being vulnerable is more likely to learn the right chords and the right scales and the right, and then replicate them if that's the way we teach. We're creating a new jazz program at the Brooklyn College, the City University of New York. It's a master's program in global and contemporary jazz studies. It's the degree, only degree of its kind in the world, and it's an incredible program. We're gonna be studying alternate systems of tonal organization, uh, different uh, musicianship classes in advanced rhythmic studies, uh, so that the kids that come through our program are actually able to play the music of Miguel Zanon or Vijay Iyer. The kids who come through our system will able, actually be able to appreciate the tonal organization of a Rudresh Mahantapa. We didn't, we're not going to teach them to replicate. In fact, we're going to teach them to bust open everything I say, to look for the fallacies in what I espouse. Because we don't want jazz musicians that just go, oh, yes, ma'am, yes, sir. We want jazz musicians that ask why. What's the purpose? Why do we do it like that? That's what jazz began. That's how jazz began. That's how Louis Armstrong began. He said, why, why, why? So why should we teach our students to go, this is that and this is this? Again, fixed points, fixed points. It isn't like that. Life is not fixed points. Life is fluid. Life is constantly moving. And if you try to live in a fixed point, you're gonna end up getting really disappointed by it. My name is Arturo O'Farrell.